Today's service is such a blessing and beautiful blessing to be in another day sharing the word of God with folks at home. Hallelujah. By the way, folks in here, I want you to know you are very blessed. Yes, those at home are blessed, but you in here, you are very much blessed because what you are hearing is right with you here. They are getting it through the internet. And all I can do is pray that the Holy Ghost will be in the houses just like he's here. Hallelujah. He's here right now. We don't need to wait. Lift your right hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, we declare again today, your word enlightens our eyes of understanding and finds absolute expression and your dominion reigns supreme in our spirits. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Look around you. Let everyone know how blessed they have been around you. And tell them that you see Jesus. Tell them, say, I see Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. I'm so happy today. You know why? Because our journeys are about to take a very new and beautiful dimension. I want to talk to you from Proverbs chapter 4, 18. Proverbs 4, 18th verse. He says, the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. The path of the just is as the shining light. You know, whenever I read this verse before now, I used to think, The path of the just is as a shining light. No. The path of the just is as the shining light. Because there is no other light. The path of the just is as the shining light. Now, when you look at the just, and you look at his path that he travels, definitely, if he continues that journey, he is going to end in a place called perfect day. Why? Because he continued the journey, he got to perfect day. So, I want to talk to you quickly on the path. The path. But the path of the justice has a shining light that shineth more and more onto the perfect day. Now, I'm very surprised that God did not give the just the perfect day. What did he, what did he give him? The path. God did not make him get to the perfect day. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13, I'm going to show you this. First Corinthians 13, and in verse number 9, he says, For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. That which is perfect comes to take away that which is done in part. So God does not bring the just, the perfect day as a gift. He gives him the path. Now, David said in Psalm 119, Psalm 119, and in verse 105, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Psalm 119, verse 105. 
Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thy word, the word of God, is a lamp to David's feet. Light to path. The path of the just is as a shining light. So the just must continue to follow the light. Once he seizes from that light, his journey becomes crooked. The journey of every Christian in Christ is not crooked. The journey of every Christian in Christ becomes troubled whenever he abandons the light. Which is what? Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and the light. In verse 130, Psalm 119, verse 130, it says, The entrance of thy words giveth light. Many people are in church. The word everybody heard when they said, but it did not profit. Why? It did not enter. I'm taking you closer and closer to how to receive the word of God. How to receive of the word of God. Because it says, the entrance of these words is what gives light and gives understanding. So if the word does not enter. Now my wife always tells me something. She says, I am your number one student. She says, I am always keeping everything you say in my heart. Listen to this. She says, I do not listen to any other preacher except you sanction it. She says, you know I was not born in a pastor's house. My father did not even regularly go to church, but he would always quote Bible or quote the Bible on my mom who was a regular church person. The one that doesn't go to church. And I don't despise any of them. But that one that quoted had the entrance. Had the entrance of the word. When the word enters you. Listen. The Bible says in Ezekiel chapter 2 and in verse 2. When the word enters you. It says, and the spirit entered into me. Hey. When he spoke unto me and set me upon my feet. When the word enters into you, you see what he did to this man? He stood the man up. The word stood the man up. Then the word gave light to his path. In Job 4 15, Job chapter 4 and verse 15, he says, Do you have it on the biggest screen? He says, let me use the bigger screen. Then a spirit passed before my face. The hair of my flesh stood up. Did you see what happened? The spirit passed. My hair stood. I got to tell you this. You can know if the word of God is entering into you by what is happening to you as you are hearing. In St. Luke's, Luke's Gospel 24, St. Luke's Gospel 24, the Bible says, Did not our hearts burn while he expounded the scriptures or he spoke to us the word of God? What happens to you when you hear the word? You know, Deuteronomy 32 tells us that the word is our life. So if the word is our life, when I'm hearing the word, what is happening to me? I told you a few days ago that there are those who hear things while you are hearing it. What you are doing begins to prosper more. Yes. You will spend less time. That is, it energizes you. The same way, drugs. When people use it, you know, the thing does them like adrenaline. When I was um, in NYSC, about a, um, 
That's about uh, 12 years ago. One folk, he told me, he said he, he used to take drugs. I said, how does he feel? <laughs> he said, my brother, when you take drugs, when you see a three-story building, you will see it as if it's just a stool. You just want to step on it. That's why it takes people high. It makes people high, you know? But one folk also told me when I used to play basketball, they used drugs to play basketball. I played with the Holy Ghost. Whenever we were done playing, you see, these boys are very energetic. They play very energetic. When we are done playing, they tell me something like, the pain that comes when you are done, you can't imagine it. So I'm like, why did you use it? Ah, he said the energy is worth it at least for you to win for that moment. You later you take care of the pain. Those of us who use the Holy Ghost or who use the Word of God in our spirits to survive, we live by the Word. Did you see what they said? Man shall not live by bread only. Did you see that scripture? Come on, let's, let's see. This is very important. St. Matthew's Gospel 4, right? 4-4. Four, four. It should be. Did you read it in a message translation? Message translation. Jesus answered by quoting Deuteronomy. It takes more than bread to stay alive. It takes a steady stream of words from God's mouth. Steady streams from God's mouth. You know what people who don't know the word of God and who don't like the word of God and who don't like listening and settling down to listen to the word of God. You know what happens to them? Their path is full of darkness. Let me show you something else. Thank you Lord Jesus. Thank you Lord Jesus. Hmm. In Psalm 13, the book of Psalms, chapter number 13. Hmm. In verse number 3. It says, consider and hear, O Lord my God, lighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. That darkness in the heart of men is what will kill them. But when you have the light of God, oh hallelujah. He says, the path of the just is as a shining light. And it shines more and more unto the perfect day. Can I add something to you? Yes, sir. If he continues traveling on that path. Because a man who quits is not going to get to the perfect day. Now, I've got to go back to Proverbs chapter 4 quickly. Proverbs chapter 4. Go back to verse 18 now. The path of the just is as, a, is as the shining light that shines more and more unto the perfect day. Uh-huh. The way of the wicked is as darkness. Can you see the difference now? The sleep of death is coming on the wicked. They know not at what they stumble. My son, Attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. For they are what? Life. Unto those that find them. And health to all their flesh. So can you see? I'm beginning to show you now. How the just travels. How his path is as a shining light. He says in verse 21. Go back to 21. Let my words not depart from your eyes. So the path of the just includes his eyes. The words of his father are in his eyes. Because a lot of people read verse 18 and stop there. Look at the rest. The path of the just is as a shining light. But his eyes must continue to see. The instructions that he was given. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. The heart of the just is very important. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody say I'll keep my heart. I'll keep my heart. Okay, keep going. For they are life unto those that find them. And health to all their flesh. Can you see where people get well? Or can I put it to you this way? He is not even sick. Because he followed the instructions of life. Thank you, Jesus. Go to the next verse, folk. 
Keep thy heart with what? Can you see what I was telling you? For all of it are the issues of life. But many people read this verse not knowing it started from the path of the just. The way of the wicked is not so. It's darkness. See, when I was young, my mother would read to me Proverbs chapter 1 verse 10. My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. You know what it says in verse 11? Look at it. If they say, come with us, let us lay wait for blood. Are these the righteous? Are these the, are these the just? Let us lock privately for the innocent without cause. Quickly, folk. Let us swallow them up alive as the grave as, and whole as those that go down into the pit. Can you see? They said they are going down to the pit and they went. We shall find all precious substance. I told you, there are people who make money through crooked means. You can see it. They are wicked. We shall fill our houses with spoil. Do you know why I stopped working with prophets years ago? Because that way is crooked. Very crooked. There's one folk online right now. His name is J. Israel. He's a South African. You see that man that rose, the, the, the said he claimed he raised the dead the other day. I was showing the video when one, one man. <gasps> I'm sure you saw it. <laughs> or you heard about it. Are you aware the folk is now truly dead? And the man can't raise him back. Now that one was faked. He didn't die. <laughs> Did you see the video? Where is it? He said, he laid his hands on him. I just heard something like, oh, Talamasa. You can watch it. Huh? You can watch it on, this, on the internet. Oh, Talamasa. Yes, sir. Oh, in fact, he said a tongue close to my tongue. You know my former tongue? Oh, Rabasa. You, you remember that tongue? Oh, Talamasa. Rise! <laughs> when the dead that Jesus got to raise back to life, was that how he rose? The Bible says they touched his hand, or her hand raised her and presented to the parents. We read that a few days ago. Come on. This one said, Oh, Talamas. Oh, what I was watching, ah, the thing sounded like Orabasa. I said, mm. By the time the guy rose back, I said, Oh, I said, No, 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 this don't look like my tongues. <laughs> this don't look like my tongues. You see? They claimed all those things. They were framed. J. Israel said, they taught me all those things. They will arrange it before service. He said, I'm going to, say, son, come. I'm going to prophesy to you today. I'm going to say, you met, you met Kruger. You met Kruger. So and so happened to Kruger. J. came and said, I've never seen Kruger before. He said, we were using those things to fool people. He said, then I'm going to impart the anointing. I said, I impart the anointing. Just say, yeah, yeah. Lies. That's why I stopped walking with them. These folks will go and check the attendance of people. Cameras are everywhere. They will check the details. One came to prophesy one time when I was still a choir head. Brought him in. Came to prophesy and was calling an old phone number of one of my members. You know what happened? He knew he was coming and he needed to impress. I used to work with them then. When we went to minister in his program, he had taken the attendance and the phone numbers. So he crammed the lady's phone number. Not knowing that the SIM card was lost at the moment it was coming. So when he called the number, nobody answered. But some of us who knew the number often said, ah, lady, he's prophesying on you. He said, yeah, okay. And then he came out. And said, you have another name called so-and-so. He saw the name because they have full names in the attendance. Full names. So wow, this man can see. He can see. The Bible says we prophesy in part. And we know in part. But when that which is perfect is come, we will do away with what? The, that which is in part. Because the perfect will come. But you continue your journey. Can I say this to you? For you to know how false all this prophetic stuff is. I'm sorry, I'm not attacking them. I'm only helping Christians. There are many people who do not have prophecy and they arrive in success.
follow the path of the just, you will arrive. Go back to my Proverbs 4, folk, before they tell me it's time up. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Put away from thee a forward mouth. Can you see that the path of the just includes a mouth? The Bible says, he that does not offend in words is a perfect man. It says, and perverse lips put far from thee. Can you see the reason he has health? You see the reason he has good health? He has good health because the path he is following leads to health. He said, it gives health to their flesh. Quickly, folk. Let thine eyes look right on. Let thine eyelids look straight before thee. Can I tell you this? Many folks who are lost in the church today have gone to look at other things. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, and you shall continue in the path that I have shown you. And you shall get to the destination as prescribed. Amen. And you shall take your children. Amen. And you shall take your children's children. Amen. The Bible says the wicked will take judgment to the third and to the fourth generation, right? Your own will be to the end of the universe. Amen. Celebrate God if you love that tongue and interpretation. You know, my wife and I, did you see what God is doing now? We used to prophesy utterance on ourselves. You know the kind of utterance we prophesy today? You know there's utterance of mouth. Utterance means what you didn't plan to say. Okay. Do you know there is also utterance of feet? Where you just walk into glory. Celebrate like you know. I love this. Because you will not plan it. You just walk into it. You know, testimonies are everywhere around. Mm. Ponder the path of thy feet and let all thy ways be what? Why are you not talking to me now? How? Because the path of the just is as a shining light. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, what God gave you daily is the word. What God gave you daily is the word. One of the things a man operating with his carnal mind can never know. He can never know what's coming. That's where you hear, no one knows tomorrow. Yes, he cannot know it. Your certificate cannot tell you what's going to happen tomorrow. One time I told mother to come and prophesy for me. Did you remember what she said? That she knows people with two ones that are working in primary schools. They have fooled them into believing that high grades will give you a good job. So let me quickly give you a, a highlight of everything I said now. I said your path includes your mouth, your words, your eyes, your heart, your health, your feet. The path of the justice as a shining light. It's as the shining light. The path of the justice as a shining light. The path includes your mouth, your words, your eyes, your heart, your health, and your feet. Whenever your health is compromised, check the words you heard. If I take you into Strong's, but we don't have time now to go to Strong's Bible and look at the word perfect day. Perfect day. Do you know that the word perfect there in BDB me, uh, dictionary tells us it means established. So anyone who continues in the word of God will be established. But listen, everyone who has a quick miracle, quick fix, it will not last. Folks, do you know, ministers, pastors, do you know that it is safer to be healed by the word 
than to be healed by one strange anointing. Yes, sir. Because the word of God abides forever. It is better the word of God frees you from poverty. Ah, because of time, I could have told my man to come. You see, a few days ago, one of my sons sent me a message from Abuja. He said, sir, I need to talk to you. I said, what happened? He said, I had a revelation and I didn't understand it. I said, what's the revelation? Then he told me the revelation. Then he traveled down. When he came, I told him, do you know the meaning of your revelation? He said, no. He said, I see myself doing so-and-so business, but I don't even know anything about this. So he went to mother. When he met mother, mother said, do this, do this. He said, no, nah, what I thought about was just to do some slight part of the stuff I saw. Mother said, no, you got to know the root of it because you're going to be the controller of everything. So he came to me and said, sir, I have so many life class students that I want in Abuja. Souls that I want. I want a lot of them. Sir, I don't even have a good phone. I said, now, let me tell you the meaning of your revelation. His dad gave him money. He said, go buy a good phone for yourself. He took the money, used the money to start a business. According to what he discussed with mother. By the revelation he saw. Are you still following me? After he saw the revelation. And then he was planning to know and learn things about the business. While he was learning, somebody gave him a call and said, you got a contract. On the same job line. He came to me. He says, I want to pay my first fruit. I said, by how? By how? He said, the business is beginning to yield profit. And that was not even my plan. This one just came as a contract. Why what I want to do is still coming. Can you see that it is easy for miracles to hit the just as he's still on his path? Yes, so I told him, I said, you know why God gave you the business idea? Because money is going to come and then you're going to buy a very big phone and you have all your subscription and then you're going to subscribe for your students also if you want to. But if you continue to share the word of God on them, like the Yahoo Yahoo I preach to, he is going to have money and send money to you, buy you a car, buy a modest business, a honorable career, not scamming people anymore. And my son sowed his first fruit and still has his path set. God revealed to him by revelation his prosperity. And I remember that I prayed this prayer on you. That God will reveal to you how you are going to make money. You need it. But continue on the path of the just. Don't let them work miracle money on you. You will finish it. Bread will not quench hunger eternally. The bread of life will. So because it is the bread of life, the of life factor makes it greater than normal bread. So if it is the bread of life, it will be the business of life. It will be the job of life. It will be the church of life. Everything that has life in it has made it past the normal. So it's not in equilibrium with trouble, but it's above trouble. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. So listen to this. If your path isn't from a stable and established word, your walk will be with issues. Because the word that you are hearing is already established. Listen, the word itself is perfect. Or can we say the word himself? Because the word is a person. In the beginning was the word. The word was God and the word was God. The same was the beginning. Because all things were made by him, the word. The word himself is established. The word perfect is also the word prepared. So the word in himself is like a rice you are cooking that is already cooked. So the word is leading you to a prepared place because the word himself is prepared. The word is not preparing. He is prepared. The Bible says, I love Hebrews 12 and in verse 23. It says, you have come to Mount Zion, the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, to an innumerable company of angels. He says, and then to the general assembly and church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, to God, the judge of all, and to the spirits of just men made perfect. How did they become perfect? They continued in the path. 
the path of the just. They continued in the path. They were made perfect. The path of the just is as a shining light. So Proverbs gave us the introduction that God will give you the path, which is the word, which is the light, and you become perfect. And he said, we know in part, prophesy in part. But by the time we got to Revelation, I beg your pardon, Hebrews, Hebrews, he tells us the spirits of just men were made perfect. Why? Because they continued in the path. Somebody say, nobody can detach me. Say, my eyes look right on. Look on the word. Say, I look on the word and I am perfected. Somebody say, I am secured. Because that word perfect also means secured. Everything about the word is conclusive. Hallelujah. See, they are telling me it's time up. I can't drag the time beyond this. But you are going to follow the path right now. Now, if you have heard this word, you heard it because you are going to be perfected as you continue on the path. There is something called life class that we give people. This life class, we are not tired of talking about it because we know what it did to us. It is life class. If you are not in life class, the opposite of life is death. Not taking life class is still equal to death. Life, when you take it, you're going to survive. You want your Christian work to go to the next level. You want to be so wonderful, so perfect, and perfect others. You've got to call that number. You can send WhatsApp messages on it. People are taking these life classes and they are having testimonies. We give God praise. You see, there's a song that says, Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. I can feel the writer said feel but sense his mighty power and his grace and his grace I can hear the brush of angels wings I see glory on his face surely the presence of the Lord is he take the key higher you remember Jesus was praying the angels came he said surely the presence of the Lord is in this place I can feel and sense his mighty power and his grace and his grace I can hear the brush of angel's wings. I see glory on his face. Surely the presence of the Lord is he. Surely the presence of the Lord is, I said, surely the presence is going to go with you back to your houses. Of the Lord is in this place. And I speak healing to that watcher. And I speak prosperity into that one that travels that path. And I speak blessings into your life. And I speak that struggles are taken out of your destiny. I sense power in my heart right now, in my soul. I speak, you are filled, everyone that hungers and thirsts. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I'm going to see you again. You know, we keep sharing these videos. Keep telling people about it. Keep taking out the excerpts. Let them go viral. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow. Make sure the people watching us know how blessed they are. Thank you for joining us again today. Bye-bye.
his house. Don't have to act for four miles. Taking the war by force. Don't have to be so normal. So realize he that lives in me. Realize he that lives in me. You don't have to believe in me. God's words enough for me.